Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now on question number three from January 2022, Pure Mathematics P3, International A Level at Excel exam. And this question here is about integration. And it says find in simplest form the integral of 2x minus 5 to the power of 7 with respect to x. Now, here we have something which is of the form where you have a function multiplied by its differential you could say let's have a look at it like this it's the reverse of the chain rule you could say this is f dash of x times f of x something of this form okay because the differential of what's inside this function okay the differential of what's inside this function here is a constant if i differentiate 2x minus 5 i'm going to get 2 which is a constant and what's multiplying this this is 1 1 times this bracket so this is like you can say that you've got a function inside a function and what's outside of it is the differential of what's inside the function so let's say it's like we've got g of f of x let's say it's like that that's what we have um, and what's outside the function is something of the form of the differential of what's inside it something like this you could say All right so when you have to find the integral of something like that we can use what's called the reverse of the chain rule and using the reverse of the chain rule, basically, what you do is you um, integrate this thing as normal. So you have this bracket to the power of something. So something of this form, a polynomial type of form, integrates by adding 1 to the power. So you have 2x minus 5 to the power of 8. Then you divide by the new power, which is 8. And then you also divide by the differential of what's inside the function. If you differentiate what's inside the function, you're going to get 2. So you multiply that denominator by 2 as well. And then you put plus c for the constant of integration. And that will give you um, the correct answer. This is 1 over 16 times 2x plus or 2x minus 5, sorry, to the power of 8. plus c and if you want to check to make sure you've done the right thing you just simply um, differentiate this so if you differentiate this you have 8 times 1 over 16 times 2x minus 5 to the power of 7 okay so you multiply by the power take one from the power and then because we have a function inside the function you're going to multiply by the differential what's inside the function which is 2, which gives you 8 times 2, which is 16, over 16, which gives you 1. So you're left with 2x minus 5 to the power of 7, which is exactly what we started with. So you can always check that you've done the right thing by just differentiating your answer and seeing it gives you exactly what we started with. So that's how you differentiate, okay, um, how you integrate something of this form. The denominator, the, 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 um, the, Expression should be multiplied by the differential of what's inside the fu function. So this is the differential of 2x minus 5 is 2, which is a constant. So outside should be a constant as well, which there is, is like a 1. It's multiplied by 1. All right, so that's important for you to understand. For example, if it was 2x squared minus 5 to the power of 7, I couldn't do this because the differential of 2x squared minus 5 is 4x. So I'd have to have an x term outside there in order to do this. That's something we have to understand. Very important. So that's three part one, and now on to three part two, which is telling us to show by algebraic integration that the integral between zero and pi over three of four sine x over one plus two cosine x with respect to x is equal to lin a, where a is a rational constant to be found. Okay, so now we want to integrate this with respect to x first. Now here we have something in a similar kind of a light where we have um, the reverse of the chain rule but slightly different here we have the numerator is of the form of the differential of the denominator if I differentiate 1 plus 2 cos on x I'm going to get um, minus 2 sin x so as it's of the same form as the numerator is of the same form as the differential of the denominator I can different that dif differentiate this using the lin function so the integral between pi over 3 and 0 of 4 sine x over 1 plus 2 cosine x with respect to x is going to integrate as now I'm going to write this as it is so 4 sine x 
times, now we're going to write the lin of the modulus of 1 plus 2 cosine x. Okay, so that's how that differentiate, how that integrates, sorry. But then I have to divide by the differential of what's inside the function. If I dif differentiate 1 plus 2 cosine x, I'm going to get minus 2 sine x. Differential of 2 cosine x is minus 2 sine x. So now I don't have to put the plus c because I've got my definite integral between 0 and pi over 3. So now I can just simplify this. Of course, the sine x cancels out. That's going to happen, of course, when you can use the reverse of the chain rule. I've got 4 divided by minus 2, so I have minus 2 times uh, the lin of the modulus of 1 plus 2 cosine x. And I've got pi over 3 and 0. So now I need to substitute these values in instead of x. So I have minus 2 lin of the modulus of 1 plus 2 times cosine pi over 3 minus minus 2 times lin of the modulus of 1 plus 2 cosine of 0. Okay, so this gives me um, minus 2 lin 1 plus, now the cosine of pi over 3, which is the cosine of 60 uh, degrees is equal to a half. So 2 times a half is 1, so that's going to be lin 2 minus, I have minus 2 times the lin of, well, cosine of 0 is equal to 1. The cosine of 0 is equal to 1. So this is 1 plus 2, which is 3. Okay. So I end up with minus 2 lin 2 plus 2 lin 3. Okay, and we have to give the answer in this form, lin a. So what I can do, this is going to be, um, this will be lin 2 to the power of minus 2, which is a quarter, plus this is lin 9 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 is 9. Okay, and so I'll end up here with the lin of 9 over 4 the lin of 9 over 4 because I have to multiply these two and I've got my answer in as a rational constant to be found. Okay, lin 9 over 4, that's the answer to part 2 of question number 3 and that completes this question number 3 from the P3 January 2022 International A level at Excel paper. Um, you can subscribe to well, sorry, you can subscribe to the channel by the link at the end. You can find other questions from this paper in the link that should appear over here. And other questions to do with integration from P3 in the link that should appear in this area. Thank you for watching and see you soon.